Hello, I'm John Phelps with Topspin Tennis. In this video, I'm going to show you five magic moves on how to get the racket head below the ball on the forehand. Enjoy. Before we get started, I've got to give credit to one of my YouTube subscribers for this question. They'd asked, I did a video on the forehand and the gentleman asked like, well, that's great, but how do I, I have problems getting this racket head below the ball. Can you share some secrets to how to get that racket below the ball? Before we get into the five magic moves, I want to share with you how difficult it is to make these videos. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because you're going to see what happens when I try to film this at home in my tennis studio and my daughter arrives while I'm shooting the video. So stick around and watch that. Magic move number one. How do we get this racket head to get below the slot? One is track with those hands a little lower. Sometimes when we're, if we have too much of a loop and we're really getting this racket head up, now it's going to take more distance now to get that racket or that hand and that racket head below the ball. So if you have too much of a loop, especially on a ball like this, there's going to be a lot of distance and ground that needs to be covered. So my recommendation is if you're having problems getting this racket head into the slot and below the ball, why don't you just track a little bit more with those hands a little bit lower for a ball like this. So as you can see my hands, I'm tracking just above the ball but not substantially over the ball. I'm tracking just above the ball with those hands, okay? So that's magic move number one. Magic move number two is relax the grip. On a scale of one to five, one being as relaxed as possible, like if, if you watch, you should be able to just pull this racket right out of the hand of the student or out of your hand. If you have a death grip, a five grip, that racket, you can't pull it. That arm tension, that stress, doesn't allow that racket head to drop into the slot as much. So magic move number two is just relax that grip a little bit. A couple things you can do is one, maybe just put a finger in between the hand and the grip. Think one grip, one, two. So as you take that racket back, if you're in a one, two grip, as you go forward, look at that leg and how that racket head is dropping below my hand as I go forward. Magic move number three is get a little momentum going here. And I call this the tambourine forehand. So we would do this a lot with kids when uh, our younger kids that kind of teach them how to kind of initiate this loop or this take back. And what you can do is basically you're just tapping the racket as you take it back. So that momentum will actually get that racket head to get going and it actually can drop if you're relaxed and have that one, two grip. As you take it back, we're here and then we can brush up and across the ball, right? So we're here, here, give it that tap, tap it, see that momentum, we'll get going and then we brush up and across. So that momentum actually will get that racket head to drop. Now, if you have that five grip tension, watch what happens. See how that racket's just, it's stiff. It's almost like you're swinging a two by four. You don't have any leverage, it's too tight. So work that tambourine forehand. And that should assist in getting that racket down and hitting up and across the ball. Magic move number four is pat the dog. So this is something that's forced. I don't teach this a lot, but if you are struggling, like the subscriber was, getting this racket head below the ball, then a simple analogy is just pretend you're gonna pat the dog. Yes, yeah, so you got a dog right here. You're gonna just kinda pet them or give them a little tap on the head, not hard, but it's gonna be here. We get to this position, and then we're coming from low to high. A few things to keep in mind when you're patting that dog. One, I'm a fan of the semi-open stance here. Remember the right leg's the boss. I've talked about this before, but we're here. 90% of the weight is on this leg. 
10% is on this leg if you're a lefty. So we're gonna get here, we're gonna pat the dog. Racket head stays to the outside of the hand. One thing you don't wanna do is when you pat the dog is pat it back here because now we've just elongated this swing path and it's gonna be a lot harder to find the ball. So I don't wanna, I wanna make sure I'm not breaking this plane. So when I pat that dog, get into that loading position, right leg's a boss, racket head stays to the outside of the hand and then from there, I'm getting below. Look at that path, you can see it. If I went straight across, I'm below the ball here. So it's pat the dog, everything on the right side, and then up and across. Magic move number five. Just grab a little painter's pad here. Floor pad, you can get these at a uh, Ace Hardware, Home Depot. But these are great for teaching students how to get below the ball. And now I'm below the ball. So great way to teach how to get that path from low to high. And we're just going to look to brush up and across. Now, if we look at this contact point, I mean, this ball is right at chest high. So when I'm starting to hit here, I'm basically gonna go more up. I'm gonna go up and across the ball here. I can only go up so long and then I become disjointed. I can't really stay connected with this shot. So work on this pad, getting the player below the ball, and then hitting up and across for that shot. All right, there you have it. Those are the five magic moves. Leave a comment below. What did you think of these five magic moves? Is there anything I could have added to assist with getting that racket head into the slot to make it easier to come from low to high? Also, I've got some extra footage here. You wanna see how tough it is to make these videos, especially when you have a 20 year old daughter that's interfering with them, watch that footage as well. Leave a comment below, hit that like button and notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Morgan, I'm just filming down here so we can just keep it down upstairs. Can you close that okay, door? Okay, sounds good. That's not what I asked. Please, not so much noise. What? Shut up. Stop walking! Dude, I'm shutting the door. You asked me to shut. Can you shut your mouth? Eat shit and die. I'm filming down here. Are you filming down here? Eat shit and die. That's on film. That's on video. Good. Okay, shh. Did you know that I have a Topspin newsletter and you can subscribe to it? And if you subscribe to it, you're going to get my next gen forehand blueprints. Basically, all you got to do is click the link below, throw in your email address, you get access to the newsletter, which I send out every month, and you're going to get the next gen forehand blueprint. 10 pages of quality information. Enjoy.